In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how you can create an animated bullet list where the bullet animates as well as the text. This can be useful on occasions where you have something you want your video audience to see as they're looking at part of the screen. You're going to have text appear on another part to describe it, or you want to describe something they're about to see in the frames that follow. We're going to show you a quick example, and then we'll show you how to create it. What I have on the screen in this case is three things already. I have a gradient background on track one. Then I have an element that's a, an image on track two. Then I have the title. We're going to promote a family reunion, a Sanchez reunion title on track three. But I want to add some bullets. How do I do that? I'm going to go to my title room. So I'm going to click on the T. But before I do that, I want to go to my gear setting. And I want to go to the editing option. And I want to change the, the length of the default title. I'm going to make it huge. I'm going to make it 30 seconds. Because you don't want this too small. And I'll show you why in a moment. And then click on OK. We can always reset it back. So what I'm going to do is click on the title in Title Room. Now I have my default My Title I'm going to use. I'll take and drag it down on track number 4. We'll double click to get into the title designer. I'm going to highlight the title, change the text to the word barbecue. And then we're going to change the color. Let's change it to uh, something in the blue area. We'll make it bold and we'll change the font size. Reduce it down to something like a 20. This will be the text in my first bullet. Now how do I add a bullet to the left of it? To do this in the title designer, I can click on the fourth icon from the left, insert image. I'll click an image when I navigate where I want to in my file system. And we'll resize it and reposition it over here. So there we are. But we don't have either of them animated. I'm going to minimize the features of my text here. And I see I have text and I also have my image. But you notice I don't have tools that I can open up to animate the image. I can't keyframe it. Not inside the title designer. But there are some things I can do. You notice I have an option called Fade. I'm going to expand that area and we'll just do Enable Fade In. Now the Fade In and Fade Out are the darker blue-green areas. If I undo the Fade Out, you notice the second one disappears. Now I can control the duration of the fade. Right now it's set to larger than I want, so I'm going to dial back. So I say I want that to fade in at about one and a half seconds, something like that. Now this is why I made the title so long, because if I have to lengthen this at any point in time, it's going to proportionately change the size of the fade in. And so what that would do, it would mean I would have to go back and re-edit this to make it different. Now after the arrow is faded in, that's when I want the barbecue to show up. So I'm going to change this. We'll drag. We're looking at our time code. Maybe I want a half a second before the word barbecue appears. And the barbecue will appear in, in starting at two seconds in. If I want to animate that as well, I simply highlight it. Click on my animation tab at the top choose an in animation and I'll, I'll use a fade as well since it's easy to see and here I can control the duration of this fade as well and I'll set that to fade in pretty quickly maybe by three seconds it's faded in okay so we have about a similar length of fade for the arrow and the barbecue if I like what I've done I'll click on save as and I can call it anything I want I'll call this test 22 Click on OK. We'll click on OK and close it. Let's see what we've got so far. We move back to the beginning. We're going to see that we're, we'll have the arrow fade in and then the word barbecue fade in. Good, we've got our first bullet. Now what I need to do is decide how long before I want the second one to show up. And so I can move anywhere in my timeline. 
or I can use the time code up here to type in the number. Let's say we want to go in four seconds and press enter and there I can set a marker. I'm going to right click and I'm going to remove the one I put in before. I'll, I'll click on this and we'll set one. And we'll call this bullet two. Press enter. Now I have a marker. So all I need to do is take my first bullet and do control C to copy, move to a higher numbered track, highlight it, do control V to paste, and now I have my second bullet. Now it's on top of the first one. So I need to get into the title designer again. And because it's on top, I'll drag it down. And I'll drag the arrow down. And there's my second one. Now we should have preserved the same kind of animation speed between the two of them because we did a copy and paste and it looks like we're doing good over here. Click on OK. Now we're going to take and go over farther. We need to again set our time code. I'm going to go, we went four, let's go six seconds, press enter. And I'll right click, choose add timeline marker and we'll say bullet three. Press enter. And then we have to copy and paste again. Do control C. I could copy from either one or three. And we'll go down to another track. Do control V. Double click on it. Get into the title designer. We're going to drag it down. It's actually laying on top a copy of itself. We're going to drag the arrow down. We'll change the word here. I should have changed the middle one. We'll call this fun. I'm going to go back to the middle middle title that we did. Change the word barbecue here to games. Click on OK. We go back to the very beginning of our project. Let's we'll see what happens when we play it. Arrow fades in. First text fades in. Arrow fades in. Second text will fade in. Arrow fades in. No, oh, I should change the timing on that. All I have to do is move it third text fades in. So that's how you can animate both a bullet and a text in CyberLink PowerDirector inside the title designer.